Are you a little bit confused about what to do with the downhaul and maybe even the outhaul on your catamaran? Well, it's a lot more straightforward than you may think. Let's dive in and have a look. Okay, so with no downhaul on at all, the sail has no shape and uh, it will just hang there like a flag. So you're not gonna have any curve in the sail. So this is ideal for if you're not yet ready to go sailing or perhaps if the wind is really strong and maybe you just wanna take a break or perhaps you've just pulled the boat back upright from a capsize, then having the downhaul completely released is ideal. Uh, we've got a minimum amount of downhaul that we'd put on on the 16 and that's just to make sure that the gooseneck uh, doesn't pop out of the cutout in the mast. And then when it's time to go sailing, uh, we're gonna start off by pulling on a little bit of downhaul So, on the giving it the beans calibration scale here, we can see that the minimum amount of downhaul is, if we're taking it from the bottom of the sail, is on number two. Um, so we'll put on the minimum amount of downhaul for sailing in light winds when we want the maximum amount of power out of the sail. Then as the wind increases, we're gonna pull the downhaul on more. What this is going to do is start to flatten the sail. It's also going to move the center of effort down and forwards in the sail, which is really gonna to help to drive the boat forwards. Um, this also, by pulling the downhaul on more, what it's going to do is open up the back edge of the sail, the leech at the top, which is going to help you to lose power. And then as the wind gets even stronger, so perhaps in the conditions when you're double trapezing and you're lifting a hull, then we're gonna pull the downhaul on more and we're gonna pull it all the way to full beans on the calibration scale. So that is the maximum amount of downhaul we can have on and that's gonna give us the flattest sail which is going to make the boat uh, both the fastest and easiest to manage in the strong winds. Then if the wind gets lighter again, we will of course ease the downhaul off so that we have more power. And that's all there is to it. More wind, more downhaul. If you're racing and you wanna get more power on the downwind leg, you can ease the downhaul off, bearing in mind that two on the scale here was our minimum, so we'll never ease it less than two, but if we ease it off, that's gonna give us more power on the downwind leg, which is gonna make the boat go faster. All that the outhaul is controlling is the bottom part of the sail up to the bottom batten, really. Um, so for that reason, we're not going to do much with the outhaul. What we're gonna do generally is set the outhaul so it's a little bit flatter than the rest of the sail. Okay, so with the outhaul, the outhaul doesn't really do very much on the 16 or on it, on many catamarans. All it's doing really is controlling the bottom part of the sail and um, controlling the shape in this part of the sail. So not as much effect as the downhaul, but we're doing exactly the same thing with the outhaul. It's always a good idea to set the outhaul after you've set the downhaul, uh, because once the downhaul's on tighter, it's actually gonna stretch the bottom of the sail more. So it's a good idea to pull the downhaul on first. And then we're gonna pull on a little bit you can't really see any difference here on the 16. A little bit for the light winds, just to get rid of the creases in the bottom. And then as the wind gets stronger, we're gonna pull that on more. 
which is going to stretch the bottom part of the sail, flattening it off. Um, but with the outhaul, it is very much a set it once and that will do kind of control. It's not like you'd be adjusting it on a 16 around the race course, but perhaps on a boat with a loose footed sail where it doesn't go into a track, it's gonna have more of an effect because we can actually change the shape of the whole of the bottom of the sail with the outhaul. Okay, so there you go. I hope that has cleared up any doubt or any confusion regarding the downhaul and the outhaul on a catamaran. But um, the main thing with the downhaul is if it's windy and you're double trapezing, or you should be double trapezing, or maybe you're on a single-handed boat and you're single trapezing, the harder you pull the downhaul, the better the boat is going to respond in the strong wind conditions. Thanks very much. I've been Joe for Joyrider TV, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, do, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and there'll be more coming up soon on Joyrider TV. And thanks to Frank for the suggestion to make this video. I hope this was what you had in mind. Cheers.